Grip Studios. This is 10 News. It's now his wife's word against his. Congressman Duncan Hunter's wife will be testifying against him in court. It's the latest twist in a high stakes corruption case facing the Hunters. Our tennis reporter Anthony Pura is in Alpine where many in the East County are still sticking by him. Congressman Duncan Hunter calls Alpine home and many of the people we spoke with out here supported him in November despite the allegations and so many of them still support him now. Margaret Hunter had nothing to say as she walked into federal court Thursday. She pleaded guilty to helping her husband, Congressman Duncan Hunter, spend thousands of dollars of campaign money for personal use, then cover it up. It's part of a plea deal she made with prosecutors. In exchange, she gets off the hook for the 59 other charges she was facing. She also agreed to testify against her husband, who is still facing those corruption charges. Her attorney read off a prepared statement on her behalf. I understand that there will be more consequences stemming from my actions, but as demonstrated this morning with the entry of the plea, I've taken the first step to face those consequences. Documents claim the hunter spent nearly $250,000 of campaign money on things like lavish trips and meals, including a $14,000 family vacation to Italy and a $650 Easter brunch at the Hotel Del Coronado. And what Hunter's wife has to say at his trial could very well determine his fate. None of it seems to phase his supporters in his hometown of Alpine, as many told us off camera that while it may not be right, there are politicians who've done worse. It would be very disappointing, you know, if uh, the allegations you know, turn out to be true. But Garth Meyer says he is a man who values principle. He supported the congressman in November, but he is watching what happens in court very closely. I don't think it looks good. Um, I'm trying to stay objective until I see what, you know, what the proof is and what the, you know, what comes out in court. Congressman Duncan Hunter released a statement that said in part, I do not have the full details of Margaret's case, but it's obvious that the Department of Justice went after her to get to me for political reasons. Hunter's trial is scheduled for September 10th. His wife is expected to be sentenced September 16th. In Alpine, Anthony Pura, 10 News. And if convicted, it would not force Hunter out of office. It would take a two-thirds House vote to do that. All right.